All right, so we got our October 29 finished up for breast cancer awareness. So I thought I'd kind of run through here with you guys real quick and show you what we did. Um, customer was watching the original video uh, where we had started this and he decided he wanted to add a few extra things to it. So we had to go back and make a few little provisions on this. But uh, I wanted to kind of run through this with you guys. Uh, we went ahead and did a small upgrade to the microphone itself. Uh, we just put a capacitor on the inside in order to go ahead and uh, give it a slight uh, detune essentially uh, so that you've got more like a noise canceling microphone. Uh, it's just ever so slight but that way it still works nearly like the stock mic. Um, but it does take just a little bit of the uh, uh, road noise out. Uh, it's still no, no replacement for using an actual noise canceling microphone. But since it is uh, breast cancer awareness and since we do have the pink microphone and everything, we wanted to go ahead and uh, have them or give them all the options that we could. So what we wound up doing on this one was, as you've seen in the previous video, uh, we went ahead and changed out our meter. So we had a uh, custom meter made uh, with pink LED or pink uh, lines as far as across the face of it on a white background which is what the customer requested and installed the pink light backlight for it uh, on the channel 9 we installed a VFO wind up on the bright dim switch this is actually so that he can shut the or she rather I can actually shut the uh, RFX 95 that's bolted to the back of this uh, which also by the way happens to be in pink now so that way they can turn that on and off uh, they did want the variable installed so they can actually adjust the carrier level themselves so that's now installed we went ahead and installed also the MOSFET upgraded final uh, one of the other things that we did to this was we changed out the LED segment from that nasty green that uh, Cobra usually puts in. Uh, we changed that out to a white, changed out our receive and transmit light to blue and red. Antenna warning indicator has been changed to pink. And then we made another slight modification to the top of the case. So you can actually look at the Cobra itself and you're going to see the eyeball light up during transmit as well just kind of a neat little you know, nothing special but just kind of neat like I said just to kind of give them uh, that little extra feeling on it so let's go through here since we went through some of the features on it uh, one of the other things that we did also is we took the time out since we had the knobs off on all the knobs we can get it to focus uh, you're going to see that they actually have pink insets instead of the orange, dark orange or red that they usually use. Those are now pink. You're going to see on the switches, you're actually going to see where they light up underneath. Uh, so we went ahead and did a backlight to the switches as well. There again, favorite color for the young lady, pink. <laughs> uh, again, uh, since we added the RFX, uh, I said the only way that he wanted that was if I would paint it pink. So we went ahead and painted that pink as well to match the rest of the radio. Alright, so we're going to show you with the RFX 95 on uh, 100 watts and 1x position. So we're going to be looking at our bottom scale. Ooh, Alright, so we've got uh, about 25 with it off. I'll show it with you on. Hello, audio. Radio check, audio, audio. So, right around 97 PEP. I'm going to go over here to our 50 watt slug in average. So, 
Let's see, dial that light down a little bit, get some more glare off the screen for you. Alright, so RFX in the on position on this. 50 watt slug, so we're going to be looking at our center scale. Hello, radio check, check, audio, audio. So we're going to get about 27 bird out of this. Um, you know, I've seen a little bit more, but with this doing what we've got, plus there again, uh, if you look at the carrier, we can set the carrier wherever is needed. Um, we've already told him that not to exceed the 18 watt dead key, which is from the manufacturer. So right there is about a fifth. Let's see, about a 15 watt carrier. Hello, check, check, audio, audio. So there again, about 27. I still got the same on the uh, forward swing. Hello, audio, check, one, two, audio. So I do have uh, built-in and variable talk back, but that's actually on the back. There's a small screw in the back to actually adjust it as well as on the echo. Now the echo is going to be uh, internally adjustable. Uh, we did use a LT2 echo board on the inside but it will have to be taken apart in order to be adjusted. Uh, we've replaced the original switch that is a normal dual control and we actually have uh, potentiometers on the inside as far as soldered right to that. We also went ahead and replaced the original cord this nice 10 gauge and then you use the Anderson style connectors uh, these are the small these are the smallest ones that they make but that's what the customer requested that way it can be easily tucked and hid but, all right everybody hopefully you enjoyed this little quick tutorial here on the uh, Cobra 29 pretty in pink right. thanks for watching guys hopefully this uh, Gives you a little bit of insight as far as on some of the other things that can be done to some of these. Uh, if you would, please hit the like and subscribe to our channel. We'd greatly appreciate it. We'd love to see you out here and love to do more videos for you. Thanks again.